Can everybody in the back hear me? Yeah. All right. If I'm not, just ask me to speak up. All right. Um, my name is Alex Dryden, and I'm the Chief Fund Manager for the UK Meerkat Fund. You'll find out why we call it the Meerkat Fund in a little bit. But a little bit about me. I am an international business, finance, and economics student. I'm in my third year. Uh, what have I done in terms of experience? I've invested in, I, I manage uh, real money portfolios across the UK, US, and Australian stock exchanges. I've been doing that since I've been 16, so I've had a little bit of experience. I've done two 12 month placements uh, one with IBM in their security division, and one with uh, Ernst & Young in their corporate finance division as well. So, uh, on top of that, I'm a holder of the investment management certificate. So, if anybody wants to find out a bit more about qualifications and how they can help you, uh, applying for jobs, so feel free to talk to me afterwards. Um, I've been a Mutus member for four years now, and last year I took part in the US Barclays competition, and I was in charge of the team that eventually won it. So uh, I've got a little bit of experience. Deputy is George, who will introduce himself. Hey, hi guys, I'm Final Year International Business. Uh, what was it? Finance and economics here. So yeah, I got into the Mutus last year when I joined for the competitions. One of those was uh, FX one and I finished fifth, so it will be a failure. Then I finished third for the same competition which Alex won. I don't have such credentials as Alex, so I'm not gonna show up. Um, yeah, I'm currently preparing the welcome guide which will include all the vital information you need to join our our funds. It will consist of um, of books, of, of um, important websites that you need to visit daily, and yeah. Okay, a little bit more about our investment philosophy. The reason it's called the Meerkat Fund is because we really like, we're really aiming to keep things re really simple. Um, it's a simple investment philosophy, it's a simple fund <coughs> structure, and it's a simple learning community that is literally the, the heart of our philosophy. I'm not going, my promise to you over the next seven months is I'm not going to use 10 complex words when I can use three very simple ones. I'm not going to make this comp more complicated than it needs to be. Uh, moving on. Our investment philosophy and how we're going to approach um, the uh, next seven months is we're only going to invest in UK assets, which I've got a little bit of experience in, and we're adopting a core satellite approach. That's the <coughs> complex word in the two words in this presentation. Um, the core, it's just literally a portfolio split into two parts. We're going to have a main core of 65% invested in safe assets, if there is such a thing, including pharmaceuticals, insurance, and utilities. So we're going to be looking at you know, AstraZeneca and GlaxoSmithKline in insurance, probably animal car insurance, Aviva, those kinds of areas. The aim is, is that we're going to see very moderate capital growth in these areas, but we're actually going to get a lot of income growth out of it. So very little volatility we're looking for in the core part of the portfolio. However, we have a 35% invested in a high-risk satellite portfolio, which is going to be targeting shares that we think over the next six to seven months are going to be increasing in above and outperform the market. Areas that I've just got off the top of my head, but obviously <coughs> we can go into a lot more research later on, is mining, technology, telecoms. I'm sure people out there that's done their own research probably have their own things to add and could argue with me all day about whether those areas are safe or not, uh, but that's the area we're looking at to begin with. Our fund aims, well we've been set a 5 to 6% alpha, um, and we're going to use the uh, FTSE 350, or FTSE 350 as the benchmark I think. Uh, personally, I don't care if we miss that 5 to 6% alpha target by an absolute country mile. If we if we make a few losses along the way, that's fine. Um, more importantly, it's about uh, the fund, and it's about giving you guys something to put on your CVs, get, say something about an interview, um, and to sort of increase your knowledge. I'm trying to build a community amongst my analysts uh, that they're allowed to share knowledge, and that we're going to increase everybody's understanding of the financial markets. We're going to do this in a number of different ways. We, I'm planning on having a weekly newsletter that we're going to produce, send around to you guys, like everybody on my email list, that will consist of maybe a few books that people can read. Um, a few a status of our current portfolio, as well as a couple of top wins and losses that we've had over the last uh, year, maybe anything else that I think might be of interest to uh, the analyst community. We're also going to have uh, monthly meetings, so 
Uh, that could increase to two, twice a month if, people, if there's a demand for it and people are keen to get involved. So at those meetings, I'm just kind of keen to network, keen to educate about what we're doing and have you know, certain approaches to invest styles of investing and things like that. Uh, hopefully afterwards, grab a drink and things like that. So it's just keeping it reasonably informal. But the main part for me is making you guys be part of Mutis. It's not about, um, it's not really about um, getting this five to six percent alpha. I want you guys to feel part of the, community, the wider Mutis community. Um, our fund structure is fairly simple in line with our uh, the general fund. We've got uh, me and George are portfolio managers, and um, we've got an economic <coughs> analysis team will be made up of three to four people who will meet once a week. If you want a position, then uh, just come and talk to me. You don't need any particular experience. I'll be sort of looking after that team um, to begin with, and then we'll sort of go from there. The idea of the economic analysis team is I want them to be producing uh, global analysis and industry analysis, uh, not specific company stuff. And what will happen is we'll feed that information that we produce into the investment analysis team. So to take an example, maybe one week we'll look at, look at, look at the FTSE 100 and say, actually, we think the mining sector is undervalued. So then we can pass that on to the investment analysis team, and they can look at the specific stocks within that sector. <coughs> so it gives, helps the whole process go together. The investment analysis team will probably be where a lot of people will end up. Uh, they, I'm just trying to look to sort of meet maybe once a month so that people can, and everybody can produce reports on a weekly basis and they can send them to me and George who will have a review of the situation and then pass them on to the trading team who will be in charge of the risk management and uh, executing the actual trade on the platform that we'll be using. Um, sorry, it's fairly simple. If anybody has any questions, uh, that would be great. Go on then. Uh, you said that the two most difficult words in your presentation or it's said light. Is that it? I don't, I don't think you explained what alpha means to all I think we covered alpha, Matt covered alpha before, uh, but alpha is pretty much just the outperforming of whichever benchmark we have. So if the FTSE uh, 100 performs by 3%, goes up 3% in a 12 month period, we want to outperform it by 4-5%. Um, does anybody else have any questions? Um, are you looking to just invest in certain indexes, or is it kind of a, a global? We're aiming mainly at the UK, so the FTSE 100, FTSE 250 firms, but we're, I'm not constraining myself just to that. So if somebody comes to me and says, look, I've got this great opportunity in the US that looks really undervalued, then yes, we have the opportunity to go in um, and invest there, but mainly focusing on the UK assets. ETFs? We will be looking at ETFs as well. Um, we'll be moving up. ETFs are exchange traded funds for anybody that hasn't heard of that sort of acronym before. Mainly it's just a collection of um, similar uh, equities that will be packaged under one shareholding in, in, in simplistic term. But yes, we will be looking at ETFs. Probably a little bit later down the line, slightly more to maybe slightly more to in your analysis. Does anybody else have any questions? Um, is, is, is the main, main aim of the fund is it an equity income fund or is it just standard equity growth fund? We're, it's a it's a balance. The core of the portfolio is mainly on is mainly on income generation to provide some stability to the overall fund, whilst the satellite part is about capital growth and things like that. So we've got this balanced approach so that uh, people could people can focus on various aspects and maybe build a bit more of a broader knowledge around um, around their trading sort of styles and things like that. Because there's lots to investing, so I'm not trying to sort of funnel people down one particular path. So get a big broader uh, sort of Based. Yes, mate. Whose capital? <coughs> whose capital are you using? Whose capital are we using, Adam? I think which trading platform are we using? ETX Capital. ETX Capital. capital. Twenty thousand yeah. pounds. Twenty thousand virtual trading account. Virtual. <laughs> Not invested <laughs> anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, last question. Yes, mate. Well, we have a basic crash course today. Yeah, like we could. Have, it's, it's complete. Yeah, it's very much open. We'll probably have a first first uh, meeting, at which point I'll sort of gauge where everybody's at. Um, if any, you know, if people want to sit down with me, I can pass on and then my all of my knowledge, which will take probably five minutes, <laughs> and then we can uh, then we can sort of go from there. So yeah, we're trying to. Get, it's about educating and getting into the So yeah, we can do a crash course if you're completely new to it. If not, then we can build whatever knowledge base people are at. 
Okay. Have I run out of time?